Welcome to today's captivating episode, where we dive deep into the enigmatic and often misunderstood world of the Bermuda Triangle. This stretch of ocean, located in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean, has been shrouded in myths and legends for decades. Is it a vortex that swallows ships and planes, or is it a hotbed of extraterrestrial activity? Let's debunk some of the most famous myths surrounding the Bermuda Triangle. To begin with, let's clarify what and where the Bermuda Triangle actually is. Imagine a triangle whose vertices are Miami in the United States, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. The area inside this imaginary triangle is known as the Bermuda Triangle, covering about 500,000 square miles, or roughly 1.3 million square kilometers. This region has been the subject of fascination and speculation for years. Now let's get into our first myth, that the Bermuda Triangle is an official geographic location. Despite its notoriety, the Bermuda Triangle isn't officially recognized by any geographical or maritime organization. Maps and atlases don't list it as a distinct area. It's essentially a term coined by the media and popularized through stories and myths. So when you hear tales about the Bermuda Triangle, remember that it's not an officially recognized part of the world. The second myth we're going to address is that magnetic anomalies within the Bermuda Triangle cause compasses to malfunction. The claim is that ships and airplanes navigating the area experience issues with their compass readings, leading them astray and eventually causing them to disappear. While it's true that compasses can behave unusually in certain parts of the world due to variations in Earth's magnetic field, extensive research has shown that the Bermuda Triangle is not one of these places. Magnetic variations happen globally, not just in this region. Pilots and sailors know how to account for these magnetic variations, so the notion that they'd be led astray by a wayward compass is unlikely. The third myth that we need to debunk is that the Bermuda Triangle is a dangerous area with a high number of disappearances. While it's true that there have been instances of ships and aircraft going missing in the area, the rate is not significantly higher than that of other heavily traveled regions of the world. According to the U.S. Coast Guard and various insurance reports, the Bermuda Triangle doesn't have an unusually high incidence of disappearances. Often, these so-called mysterious disappearances have logical explanations like human error, mechanical failure, or natural disasters. It's not some mysterious force swallowing these vessels. It's usually a series of unfortunate events that could happen anywhere. Our fourth myth is quite a sensational one, that extraterrestrial beings are responsible for the disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle. Stories abound of UFO sightings in the area, often cited as evidence that perhaps alien life forms are abducting ships and aircraft. While the idea makes for great science fiction, there is no credible evidence to support the existence of extraterrestrial involvement in the Bermuda Triangle. UFO sightings are not unique to this region and have been reported worldwide. Furthermore, many so-called sightings have been explained as natural phenomena, military exercises, or other man-made objects. Now, let's move on to another intriguing myth. Underwater city ruins within the Bermuda Triangle are linked to the mythical lost continent of Atlantis. Some believe that the remnants of this ancient civilization have mysterious powers that can sink ships and bring down airplanes. The concept of Atlantis itself comes from the works of the ancient Greek philosopher Plato, but there's no substantial archaeological evidence to suggest that Atlantis ever existed, let alone within the Bermuda Triangle. Most scientists and archaeologists consider the story of Atlantis to be a myth or an allegory rather than a historical fact. Another myth that has captured the public's imagination is the idea of time warps or vortexes in the Bermuda Triangle. These notions were popularized by movies and novels where characters find themselves in different timelines or dimensions after entering the area. While time travel is a fascinating concept in theoretical physics, there's no empirical evidence to support the existence of time warps or vortexes in the Bermuda Triangle or anywhere else. Theories like wormholes are still purely speculative 
and haven't been observed. Let's also discuss the myth that advanced, unknown technology from the ocean's depths is responsible for the disappearances. This theory suggests that some sort of futuristic underwater facility is capturing ships and planes for unknown purposes. While it's true that the ocean depths remain largely unexplored and may contain unknown phenomena, there's no credible evidence to support the idea that such technology exists or is in operation in the Bermuda Triangle. Finally, let's talk about the myth that insurance rates for traveling through the Bermuda Triangle are higher due to its dangers. In reality, insurance companies don't consider the Bermuda Triangle to be an extraordinary risk. Shipping and air travel insurance rates are generally determined by factors like the type of vessel, the experience level of the crew, and the specific cargo being carried. The Bermuda Triangle doesn't figure into this equation in any significant way. While we've covered many myths so far, it's important to also look at why these myths persist and what actually might be happening in the Bermuda Triangle. First, let's consider the role of the media. Sensational stories sell, and the Bermuda Triangle has been a popular subject in books, movies, and documentaries. Often, these works embellish or misrepresent facts to make the story more compelling. While they capture the public's imagination, they also contribute to the perpetuation of myths. But what about the actual explanations for the disappearances and strange occurrences? One factor that often goes overlooked is the Gulf Stream, a powerful ocean current that flows through the Bermuda Triangle. The Gulf Stream can quickly erase evidence of a disaster, sweeping away debris and making it difficult to determine what happened. This current is known for its unpredictability and has been studied for its potential to affect navigation. Another significant but often overlooked factor is human error. Navigational mistakes, miscommunication, and other forms of human error can lead to tragic accidents. When these happen in the Bermuda Triangle, they are often attributed to more mysterious causes. Weather also plays a critical role. The area within the Bermuda Triangle is prone to sudden and severe storms. These can develop quickly and dissipate just as fast, leaving little or no evidence behind. Water spouts, which are tornadoes over water, are also known to occur in this region and can be hazardous for ships and small aircraft. Mechanical failure is another logical explanation. Airplanes and ships are complex machines with numerous parts that can fail. Engine problems, structural failures, or system malfunctions can all lead to accidents. Lastly, methane hydrate deposits on the ocean floor can become dislodged and turn into gas, reducing the waiter's density and causing ships to sink rapidly. However, this phenomenon is not unique to the Bermuda Triangle and can occur in other parts of the world. So, as we conclude, it's crucial to approach stories about the Bermuda Triangle with a critical mind. While it remains a subject of fascination and speculation, many of its so-called mysteries can be explained through scientific understanding, logical reasoning, and a bit of skepticism. The Bermuda Triangle is not a mythical vortex or an extraterrestrial playground, but a region where a combination of natural factors, human error, and perhaps a sprinkle of bad luck have contributed to its enigmatic reputation. And that brings us to the end of our in-depth look into the myths and realities of the Bermuda Triangle. I hope this episode has shed some light on this captivating topic and debunked some of the myths that have long surrounded this area. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep seeking the truth.